Hi, this is Kevin, uh, owner of uh, Solo Cigars. I'm here with uh, Abe Flores from Pinar del Rio. Hello. Abe, I want to talk to you a little bit about your, your new cigar, at the uh, Selection. Okay. A little bit about the wrapper leaf, because I know it's something unique. A little, little bit about the blend, if you if you could tell us and all the viewers on uh, YouTube what, uh, what you've been doing lately. Oh, all right. No, um, well, lately, you know, uh, after uh, launching the, the brand Pinar del Rio a year and a half ago at Las Vegas RTDA, uh, IPCPR. Um, the people have uh, enjoyed the blends that me and Juan have been doing. Uh, my whole goal from the get-go was to develop something unique, different out of the Dominican Republic. Um, uh, if you knew what I did before, I worked in other, uh, in other things with uh, other uh, online retailers, developing brands and, and running uh, businesses in that aspect, uh, but you know me and Juan. Well, when I partnered up with Juan uh, from Don Iencio, uh our goal was just to to come up with something that was our our own, and that whoever smoked the Pinata here, they could say this was made by Abe, uh, made by Abraham Flores and Juan Rodriguez. The Selección line uh, has that type of uniqueness that I wanted to portray out there. Um, if you see, uh, if you see the band, it says uh, Selección Reserva Limitada. The wrapper itself is Lancaster, Pennsylvania wrapper. Uh, Connecticut Sea Grown, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Uh, the binder is Havano, Sorry. Dominicano, Nicaraguan Dominican filler. Um, has a sweetness to it, but also a, a, a slight pepperness in the wrapper itself. Um, and it was just something that that, that just came about um, about a year a year a year ago. Uh, tobacco wholesaler vendor came to me, uh, expressing that he wanted me to try out this new wrapper that he's been processing. And he did, he kind of it was kind of a trick. He was kind of telling me it was from Nicaragua, the wrapper itself. And I made a quick cigar out of it. And when I smoked it, I was like, Wow, this is something different. What is it? And he goes, This is Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I couldn't even believe it when I smoked it. Um, and when I when I made a cigar out of it, um, so that's how the whole uh, the whole selection line got developed. Um, I wanted to have some of the same fillers that I use for the sun grown, but um, I bought uh, some more uh, Nicaraguan fillers from Jalapa uh, to change the complexity and not to be to be so much the same like the school in the sun grown. To be a little bit different, to to stray to a different. Uh, line away from the scudo and the sangro. If you smoke my scudo and sangro, you can tell there's a lot of the same tobacco uh, and a lot of the same flavors uh, between each other. Uh, with the line, with the selección, it's a totally different um, flavor palette. Uh, it hits you in the back of the throat in a different way. Um, it, it's more sweetness. Um, and it hits you in the tip of the tongue uh, in a different format than, than my son grew. Tell us a little bit about uh, your favorite cigars in the line, uh, whether it's the Escuro, the Sun Grown, the Classico, which I'm smoking the Lancero right now, you can get a close up of that. As a gorgeous Lancero, I mean, there's like no veins whatsoever in the wrapper leaf. Construction's perfect. Yes. Uh, actually, has a little bit more body than the regular Classico line, I believe. Yes. Uh, one of my favorite sizes. We don't sell a whole lot of them, but we do sell quite a few of the Lancero size online and in the store. Uh, definitely gonna have to order these. Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> but I think your customers will appreciate it. But but tell me what, what your favorite cigar, your go-to cigar is out of all the cigars that you make. What's the one you find yourself gravitating towards all the time? Well, to be honest with you, my favorite cigar is my Lanceros. You know, that's the favorite size I smoke all the time. I'm not a big, thick ring gauge guy. Um, I'm not either. You know, I'm more of a, you know, 50, maybe 52. Uh, I smoke a lot of Coronas, a lot of Lanceros. That's like the cigar that I smoke all the time. My go-to smoke lately has been the classic uh, during the day. And then at night, I'll smoke a uh, Sun Grown um, uh, because I need uh, at least at night or after six o'clock after I had a meal. I want the I want more of the fullness and the, and the it's got a little bit of pepper to it, more pepper yeah. to it and the, and the strength to hit me through. Um, and you know the the sun has that leather 
leather complexity that that um, like a like a Cuban Boulevard type of thing right. that hits you that I that I kind of like a lot. Other than that, most like lately it's just been you know like all cigar smokers you you rotate your smokes all the time. Right. Same thing with me. One you know at the beginning last you know, uh, year and a half ago I only smoked sun grows every day and then on scudos. I right, smoke with in the morning and sun grows at, at night. And then, uh, but lately I just, you know, I flipped to the to the Glastico a lot of because it has a lot of flavor. It may not have the strength, yeah. but it has a lot of flavor and a lot of aroma. Yeah, so, I, mean, I mean, this Lancero is holding up. I smoked your Selection Robusto earlier, and uh, this Classico is actually holding up in flavor. You know, strength, you know, it's, it's not it's not the same strength as, mm -hmm. as the Selection. The flavor is completely different, but it is complex. It does have a lot of flavor to it. Very complex. 